Dr. Quinn, thank you so much for joining us today. My first thank question you. for you is how can you tell the difference between allergies and COVID, maybe a sinus infection? It kind of all runs together. Some of the symptoms kind of look the same. Well, you know, I get that question a lot from a lot of the patients that come in every day. And basically, these symptoms can be very similar as far as does the person have allergies or is it a, a sinus infection? Is it bacteria? Is it is it is it virus? Is it coronavirus? And, and this is something that we look at every day. So basically what I tell the patients is, number one, if you have fever, if you have a productive cough, like a cough that's very severe where it hurts your chest, um, you have body aches, then there's a higher probability that it's a more serious infection, maybe coronavirus or even some type of pneumonia. That's when you really, really want to go get checked out, go get a uh, evaluation by a medical provider to include a coronavirus test. Uh, if it's just a runny nose, itchy throat, maybe watery eyes, there's a higher probability that it's just allergies, no fever. Th this is very common during this time of year and, and also very common during the spring. But the take home is, during the coronavirus pandemic, because with this new Omicron variant, some of these symptoms are very mild to moderate. It's a good idea if you have any symptoms to go ahead and get tested for coronavirus. And you can even go now to Walmart or Walgreens and buy tests over the counter. Because if you're someone that's young and healthy and you have coronavirus with only mild symptoms, if you are around someone that's older or immunocompromised, you can transmit it to them and then they could have a more serious uh, reaction or even lose their life. So Dr. Quinn, let me ask you this, even if it just feels like a cold or feels like some sinus pressure, is it still a good thing to go get tested, go get a COVID test just to make sure? Cause that's kind of how germs start to spread and we can keep getting people sick. That's correct. And, and that's what that's what I was saying just just before, because the deal is, remember, the new Omicron variant of coronavirus, the data is overwhelmingly revealing that it's more infectious, meaning it's easier to catch. But the data is also showing that people are having milder courses of disease, meaning that instead of getting very sick, they're just mildly sick. So it's a good idea to go ahead and get tested, because if you have it, you don't want to pass it on to someone else. Okay, well, that's really, really good to know. And just, we've got a little bit more time, but can you just give us um, a few little tips and tricks to stay healthy, maybe taking some vitamin C, or I like to take emergency. Right. I mean, during this uh, winter season with the coronavirus pandemic, the one thing you want to do is try to keep your immune system up. You want to get enough sleep every night. You want to try to decrease your stress. I know we got to go around those families for the big celebrations, but also you want to try to make sure that if you are sick, go ahead and get checked out and make sure you don't have coronavirus. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Quinn, for joining us here on 12 News.